right, so since my last video, a lot of the viewers have been asking a lot about this uh, homemade mini excavator of mine and kind of wondering what the capabilities of it are. So I thought now would be a good time to show you some of the things I can do with it, uh, how much weight it can lift, and you know, maneuverability kind of thing. Uh, there is another video on it showing a more in-depth overview of it, but uh, general gist of it is it's uh, powered by a six and a half horsepower motor running the hydraulic pump. Uh, I have a total of five different rams operating all the different uh, tilts and lift on the bucket and also running a four spool hydraulic valve. Uh, so I'm going to power it up here and just kind of show you some of the things that I can do with it, how easy it is to dig, maybe crawl over some obstacles, lift up some rocks and uh, just give you a general idea of why I built it and what I do with it. buckets that I've made for the excavator. Uh, first one here is a trenching style banana bucket uh, so clay and stuff doesn't get stuck in it very easily and it's got about a six inch cut on it. If I wanted to bury a cable or something like that I just pull the pins out and put this bucket on. Uh, the second one I made here is a rock bucket uh, so if I'm digging in gravel and I just want to save just the smaller rocks anything over an inch if I'm doing some gardening or landscaping stuff, I can sift it out with the back of this one. Uh, this is just made out of rebar that I bent and welded. So you take a bucket up and you just kind of shake it and all that's left is the rock, all the sand goes out. So basically endless, the kind of buckets that you could build for one. But uh, so I basically have the three. I have the one that's on there and then these two, and that's what I work with.
need sponsorship. For 